This video is a brief summary of the press conference held by Hublot as they presented Magic Gold, a revolutionary composite 18 karat gold with the main characteristic of being unscratchable. This technology was co-developed with the Swiss Polytechnic School of Lausanne and can be applied to other metals, thus opening new doors of application outside of watchmaking. 18 karat is the reference for gold, for gold in jewelry and for gold in watches. 18 is the reference. Because in the bank, they sell you pure gold. But pure gold has very poor qualities, properties, and you cannot use it for jewelry. There is no jewelry in 24 karat, and you cannot use it for watches. Today, 20, 18 karat gold, what is it? It is an alloy between ceramic and gold. Instead of using copper, palladium, and all this, we, the university, has made a discovery, a research, and found that we could fuse under 2,000 bar pressure and 1,700 degrees that we could make a fusion of ceramic and gold. And the result would be a new 18 karat gold with new properties. Which properties? The property that gold 18 karat from this alloy would never scratch. Never ever scratch. Never ever oxidize. It means you can have a watch, you can wear it for any sport, any use. It will just not scratch. You can have a chain, 10 chains, you can have a ring, wedding ring, never, never will scratch. It will constantly be and look totally polished, as new. One million year, 10 million year, not scratchable, unscratchable. Yes, one material can scratch our gold, <coughs> diamond. The diamond, thanks God, can scratch gold. And why do I say thank God? Because thanks to that, we can work gold. If it's so unscratchable, how would we work it? So we work it through laser cutting uh, and diamonds. <coughs> this technology can be transferred to other materials. It can be transferred to aluminum. It can be transferred to silver. It can be transferred to uh, platinum. So we are announcing today just the gold, but believe me, the other alloys will follow, and we are just in the beginning of the process. And the whole process and the whole manufacturing will be done in-house because we have now a mill, and you will see in a few moments the first gold coming out from our oven and from our uh, metallurgy department. This all started roughly a little under four years ago, uh, not more, it's been extremely short and great fun. Uh, it started just with a meeting. There was this CEO of a watchmaking company who we never met, we heard a bit of, who one day showed up in our lab. I remember we had trouble finding a parking spot on our messy campus. And uh, we could hear you before you showed up in the room. There were some limits that we were given. One of them, which I liked, no coatings. No coatings, a coating can go. You must make materials that are visually interesting and second constraint that make, and I think these were the exact words, absolute technical sense. And so we launched into a project where not a whole lot more was defined other than the fact that Hey guys, if you can make gold really hard, that would be great. Now, what is it? Uh, I will let Ludger explain the details, but the essence of it is, now the word fusion, one can argue whether it's the best, but it, it's a wonderful way of explaining it, given that it fits so well with the, with the, you know, with the terminology that is used by Hublot in marketing. It's the combination, I should say, because we don't melt them together. You can't melt more and carbide that easily. It's, it's a combination of gold made hard through alloying. Alloying is the addition of other atoms 
which form a liquid which when you cast it forms an alloy that then solidifies and retains its identity as something that's fully metallic with the ceramics. Ceramics are super hard as we know. Boron carbide is the third hardest thing and it's light, it's, 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 uh, it's extremely hard and with a few tricks which I want, well which you can maybe detail, we succeeded in combining that with gold and making a material that is very hard and that is true 18 karat gold. On va enfin faire quelque chose de nouveau qui démarre de l'horlogerie et qui sera, on l'espère, utilisé dans les autres domaines euh, euh, comme euh, ben, l'automobile, vous avez pu l'entendre tout à l'heure.